In the previous video, we talked about relational operators. In this video, I actually want to put your knowledge to practice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out a couple of exercises with a couple of conditions. And what you're going to do is you're going to create a relational expression using the relational operators that we learned in the previous video. And then I will post the answers on the next video so that you know how a programmer is supposed to think. Let's take a look. So suppose I have a condition that says that we have a variable called letter. So assume that we have dim letter as let's just say integer and the condition says that letter must weigh no more than one ounce letter must weigh no more than one ounce I want you to think about that for a second so that you understand what the con what the actual relational operator you're gonna use letter must weigh no more than an ounce so let me write out all the conditions and then I'll help you think through them but I want you to write them out on your own and then don't look at the next video until you actually write the answers down so we'll have another condition where we also have a dim grade as, as a string and we can say that the grade must be at least a C. The grade must be at least a C. Then we have another condition where we can say that any code but M. Any code but M. And assume that, assume that code is actually a variable as well so we can say dim code as string so when you do these now I'm doing this on word you probably would want to do this on the actual Excel BBA editor then we can say let's do a integer again so a condition where the score must be higher than 70 and assume that we have a dim score as integer and the score must be higher than 70 so let's take a look at how we could think these through and I'm not gonna give you the answer until the next video and we'll talk about it more on the next video but I just I wanna help you think through this on how to write these really because it's one thing to know how to write a relational expression the relational operators and how they act but now we need to apply it let's take a look so letter must weigh no more than one ounce so when you look at statements like this you have to dissect the language here and ask that well what is the max and what is the min in terms of the range right well it's saying that it can't weigh more than an ounce Right, so that means your max is going to be one. Right? Forget about the ounces. Don't worry about that. Okay? Don't worry about that. Because we're just assuming it's an integer. So if you look at statements like this and they have pounds or ounces and all that, just put that out of your head. Don't worry about that. Okay? All you're doing is comparing numbers. So the letter must weigh no more than one ounce so you know that it can't weigh more than one so if you try 1.5 1.2 1.1 not gonna work it's not gonna satisfy this condition which means that one is really your upper end range now it's not you're not really talking about a lower end range so I'll let you kinda of focus on that on how to how to create a relational expression for this okay then here the grade must be at least a C okay it must be at least a C so that means that the least grade that you can get is a C 
right? Because it's got to be at least a C. So which means that now you, you, we, we need to identify what the lower and upper range are, if there are any. And here now we're t it's the opposite. It's going with the lower end range. So the lower end is a C. The higher end doesn't really specify. But you can interpret that to be grade itself. And this condition will say any code but M, which means that this value could be anything but the letter M. Anything but the letter M. Which now we're not really talking about higher or lower. We're perhaps talking about equals or not equals to. So I'll give you another hint there. Equals or not equals to. And this one's pretty easy. It says the score must be higher than 70. Higher than, not including 70. So it's got to be higher. Which means that what is the highest it could be? Well, it's not specifying what the highest is. It's specifying what the lowest is, but it's trying to, the question is trying to trick you and saying, well, it's got to be higher than 70. Which means that 70 is your lower end range. 70 is your lower end range. Why don't you work through these and see if you can come up with an answer on the VBA source editor. And then on the next video, I will go over these individually. I'll see you on the next video.